Hi, hi! So, welcome, welcome back to About Rock. And kita nyo naman po sa title ng video na ito, Bet kong pahirapan ang sarili ko today. What? So, this will be a try on and a makeup challenge in one. At ang itatry natin ay ito. Now, I'm absolutely sure na familiar na kayo sa kanya kasi trending to for quite some time sa Instagram. So, they call this the Chubby Mermaid Brush. Even though hindi naman siya mukhang mermaid tail, mas mukha siyang tail ng fish since gold siya, gold fish. By the way, guys, this is not the real thing. Hindi po ito original. This is just a knockoff of the original because I got this one from Divisoria, specifically sa Glad King. I think I got this for 90 pesos. And do not worry guys, kasi nilabhan ko na rin to before using this today para malinis na siya and safe na natin gamitin. So I wanna try this one out kasi yung unang kita ko dito sa Instagram, I thought na pang contour lang talaga siya ng cheekbones. Pero upon inspecting it, weird siyang pang contour ng cheekbones kasi tapered siya dito sa itaas. Ayan guys, so pumayat siya dito sa taas. From chubby to thin real quick. Tapos parang din yung shape niya. So dahil sa mga characteristics niya na yon, baka naman hindi lang talaga siya pang contour ng cheekbones. Baka pwede rin siya sa iba pang mga makeup procedures. So yan yung gagawin natin today. Gagamitin natin to pang primer, pang foundation, pang contour and highlight, pang bake and also pang blush. So kung gusto nyong makita yon at kung gusto nyong malaman kung ano pang ibubuganit tong chubby mermaid na ito or goldfish kung ano man siya, then keep on watching. So first, magtanggal muna tayo ng existing dust and oil and other unnecessary debris sa ating face by using a cleansing wipe. Ayan, punasan lang natin lahat para smooth ang application natin later. Let it set, let it dry. Okay, sa unang test, hindi na agad siya effective bilang pamaypay. Wala siyang nabubugang hangin at all. And now, we're gonna move on to primer. Gagamit ako ng silicone-based na primer at ilalagay ko lang sa kanya. Tapos, I'm going to spread it all over my face, concentrating sa mga areas kung saan mabilis ako mag-oil at mabilis akong mahulas. So, sa application ng primer... Medyo weird. Kasi yung texture ng brush na to is two-toned. Okay, dalawa yung texture niya. Yung dito sa baba, parang pang foundation brush. Pero dito sa taas, parang pang powder brush. Pero na-apply naman niya evenly yung primer kasi I can feel na madulas na yung buong mukha ko. My thanks sa pag apply ng primer, yung score ng goldfish na ito is 6 over 10. Now we're going to move on to applying our foundation. Si Milani Conceal Plus Perfect. There. So I'm just gonna dot it all over my face muna. And then I will use Mr. Goldfish to blend it all away. So hindi ko alam kung paano ko siya i-blend. Try muna natin this motion. So, in fairness, yung motion na to, yung parang patap-tap, pero may konting stroke. Pero super konti lang. Kaka-conceal siya ng mga pores. Lakas, maka-airbrush finish. Try naman natin yung dab-dab lang. Gawin natin beauty blender. Ay! Okay, since yung shape niya is patusok, nagkakaroon siya ng mga patusok na streaks, so wag na. Gawin natin ulit yung dab na merong stroke. In fairness, guys, tingnan nyo. Ganda, di ba? So definitely, maganda yung combination nitong Milani Conceal Pas Perfect Foundation tsaka nitong Chubby Mermaid Fish Brush. Ooh, wow! So, even yung pores ko na malalaki sa nose, na-conceal niya with this motion, okay? The swabbing motion, yung swipe na dab. Effective siya in applying the foundation. Pero, napansin ko, ang dami niyang sumipsip ng product. Ang daming foundation ang kinain ng goldfish na ito bad goldfish. So, even though maganda ang pagkakablend ng aking foundation by using this, ang dami naman niyang sinipsip, hindi siya matipid, and tipid is life. So, my verdict for this in applying foundation is only 8 over 10. Sayang 10 over 10 sana kung matipid ka lang eh. Next up, we're going to apply our concealer and this will serve as our highlight as well. So 
it is also nice in applying the concealer especially dito sa under eyes kasi it fits perfectly dito sa hangganan ng concealer mo maiiwasan niya talaga yung pagpasok ng concealer mo sa mata mo and doon sa iyong lash line and waterline in fairness, airbrushed finish talaga siya guys. Lalagyan ko na rin dito sa aking eyelids to prime it for the eyeshadow later. Wow! Even dito sa highlighting the nose bridge, maganda siya. Naging useful yung pagiging manipis niya dito sa dulo. Where have you been all my life, goldfish? Wow, guys! I think best friend ng goldfish na to yung concealer. Na speechless ako for a while kasi sobrang sarap niyang gamitin. And somehow, nakatulong na sumisip-sip siya ng mga excess product. So, in applying the concealer, I think this would get a 10 over 10. Now let's go ahead and contour. I'm gonna go ahead and use my next wonder stick. So I'll draw on my face first. In fairness, guys. So, in applying the contour, mas effective kung dab-dab lang siya. Okay? I-treat mo si Goldfish as your beauty blender. Ayan, lakas maka-natural ng mga shadows na nagagawa ng cream contour by using this Goldfish. Pero guys, hindi siya masyadong maganda sa feeling kapag dinadab-dab mo. Kasi mas matigas siya compared sa beauty blender. Or baka kasi peke tong Goldfish ko. What? Pero oh my gosh, check that out. Definitely well blended. Wow! So even sa pag no nose line, this is super duper effective. Contour on fleek. Check out my nose line. Snatched as what? So definitely in both contouring and highlighting, naging super duper useful yung pagka-taper niya or pagka-nipis niya dito sa kanyang tip or dulo. Nabe-blend mo both the highlighter and the contour products on all the right places. So in contouring, I would give this fish a 10 over 10 also. Now let's set everything using a loose powder. this one is hindi masyadong okay kapag ginamit mo with loose powder kasi very very manipis nga yung kanyang tip so you have to work in portions like iseset mo to and then iseset mo to iseset mo to iseset mo to iseset mo, mo to ain't nobody got time for that yes lakas makaubos ng oras best hanggang ngayon actually may buo buo pa so in using the loose powder I would give this a 2 over 10. Now we are going to set naman our contour using a contour powder. Ha! Ha! Yes, honey slay! So, in using this for the contour powder, medyo 50-50. Definitely, wag na wag mo siyang isa-swipe. Kasi pag iniswipe mo, magkakaroon ka ng harsh line katulad ng nangyari dito kanina. So, ang gawin mo, i-dip mo lang siya sa contour powder and then i-dab-dab mo sa direction ng iyong mga contour areas. Now, we are going to bake. Don't worry, hindi ikaw ang ibibake namin. fairness in putting the powder on the baking areas, madali siya kasi you can definitely control kung saan mo lang siya gustong ilagay. Now we're just gonna have to let it cook. What? 
and let's dust it off. Ooh. So maganda siyang pang dust off kasi definitely hindi kung saan-saan pumupunta yung iyong baking powder or loose powder. At saka since portion by portion lang siya, magiging maingat ka talaga pes. So yung tendency is hindi mo masisira yung foundation and concealer na ginawa mo kanina. So I guess okay naman siya when it comes to baking. So in baking, I would also give this one a 10 over 10. Of course, this is the step to getting snatched, baby. Let's do this here. Oh! So, kung gusto mo ng sharp na highlight best, this is definitely the tool to use. Wow! Especially dito sa nose, sobrang gusto ko siyang gamitin pang highlight. Super duper, this will have an 11 over 10 sa pagka-highlight. Now, let's go ahead and do the blush. Alisin muna natin again yung mga na-absorb niya. So when it comes to blushing, magiging depende sa yo kung magiging madali siya or hindi. For example, kung gusto mo yung blush is yung pambata, yung bilog talaga dito parang loti sa Princess Sara, mahihirapan ka best. Pero kung gusto mo is yung mas natural na blush, yung dito lang, you can just dip it and then brush it off like this. So for me, yun naman yung technique ko pang blush and it's super effective. So I'm gonna give this one an 8 over 10. 8 lang kasi grabe nga siya mag-absorb and mahal tong blush on na to. So, ang sakit. What? Now guys, I'm just gonna go out of the camera to do my brows, my eyes, and my lipstick. Of course, hindi na nito kayang gawin yun. So yes, time first muna si Chubby Goldfish. Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying not to think about you. Uh, no, 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 not to think about you. Hey. Oh, no, 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 I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. So there you have it, guys. This is my final look. Where I tried this mermaid chubby brush out. Now, guys, nakita nyo naman na effective talaga siya. Sa mga ibang makeup procedures, yun nga lang gagamitan mo siya ng technique. And pinakamabisang technique talaga while using this is the swabbing technique or the swipe and dab technique. So it's good to know na kahit cute to, hindi lang siya pa cute pero may ibubuga din. Hindi tulad ng iba dyan, na puro pa cute lang tapos paasa din pala. Anyway, yeah. special thanks pala sa Heart Plum Sunnies. Check them out sa Instagram. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you do, then click the thumbs up button. And also subscribe to me if you haven't already to be part of my hashtag. Rap Squad. Follow me then on my other social media. Ako po ay si at Raf wants you. Instagram, sa Snapchat, and sa Twitter. So yes, it's a Raf, and I will see you guys on my future videos. Mwah!